Hey gang, AV here, and I've got a review for the Marauders Task Force World War II German Rifleman. Now, just like the uh, just like the uh, U.S. Army Rifleman that I reviewed earlier, this is one of the figures that I chose to Army build so, with my Kickstarter. So I actually got four of these guys, and because of that. Um, the particular head sculpt that he comes with may differ from the one that you happen to get when you finally get one. Uh, that being said, however, um, this is the figure. This is all of his accessories. I did not load him up with all of them, although I could have because of the modular design of the figures. There's plenty of different options when it comes to how to equip them and so on and so forth. Uh, I just chose to do it kind of lightly with this guy. Uh, let's start with his accessories first, especially the ones that are not currently on the figure. Um, if you'll notice, he does have a harness on. If you did not want the harness, he comes with a belt instead. The belt has a painted uh, belt buckle, and it has six different peg holes, or no, I'm, yes, six so that you can peg the different accessories into them. Like, for example, this is his entrenching tool, which has detail, uh, a knobbed handle, but the peg there would just peg into the belt like this. It's a little tough getting it started, I will be honest. And Appearances can be deceiving. These uh, these things, these pegs are actually not round. They're like hexagons, so you have to make sure you line it up properly. But they peg in there pretty nice, pretty securely. It's not going anywhere if, once you get it in there right. He also comes with this... Uh, I guess you, it's a canister of some sort. Uh, maybe his rations can... I'm not sure. I'll be honest. I, uh, I'm much more knowledgeable with the U.S. Uh, Army equipment than the, than the German stuff. I, uh, if you know what it is, please let me know in the con in the comments. But this looks like a uh, like a rations can of some sort. It does have the uh, the peg hole, so you can put that on the figure. Uh, again, not entirely sure what this is, but I believe it is uh, like a raincoat of some sort. It does have a nice camo pattern on it, like a forest camo. And it does have a peg hole there, so you can put it on the ba on his backpack, for example. Like so. His backpack has three peg holes, the one in the middle and one on either side. Again, so you can put things like his knife sheath on there. If you so choose. Just as easy as that. His knife sheath is all black. And the knife is removable. It's painted. Very cool. And it holds the knife very securely. In addition to his backpack, he also has this pouch. Which uses two peg holes on his belt. It's kind of like a fanny pack, believe it or not. And uh, it's got two other peg holes inside the pouch so that you don't have to limit your uh, accessory usage. And then he comes with two helmets. He's got this helmet here. Standard German helmet which has a tiny bit of painted detail right here for the strap that goes along the, uh, the rim. Otherwise, just a couple rivets in the side there, and that's it for the detail on this helmet. Nothing on the inside, really. Just the, those two knobs there to help the head stay in place correctly. Um, the helmet that's actually on the figure itself does not have the painted detail on the rim. That's what the difference is between the two. As subtle as it is, they actually gave you both, which I thought was very cool. 
Now, you may notice that he's not holding his rifle with both hands. That's because he can't. I mean, unless you start bending things in a way that they're not supposed to be bent. Um, he, I can't get him to shoulder the rifle and line it up, line up the sights as though he was about to fire it, um, unfortunately. Um, I have seen people online just trim part, some of the plastic around the elbow joint. To enable the uh, the arm to actually fold more, I have not been brave enough to do that with this figure. I am a little bit more brave to try it with the U.S. figure, just because his sleeves are have a lot more folds in them, so it'd be a lot harder to notice. But this one's kind of straight, so I'm not entirely sure how brave I'm going to be if I'm brave enough to try it on this guy. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, this is his rifle. German rifle. Again, unlike the U.S. figure, I don't know exactly what this one was called. But still, very cool. It looks like a bolt action. <clears throat> He's got a figure stand. Because he was a rifleman, he came with these two ammo pouches. Which have a single peg hole and three pouches per. There's no painted detail on them, they're just black. And around the back, we have this canister. Again, don't know what the canister is. I've actually seen... This on German soldiers uh, in documentaries and whatnot, uh, but I don't know what it's for. And you have a canteen. Fully painted. And of course, his web harness. As for the figure himself, again, the face sculpt may be different from the one that you happen to get. I've, uh, I've changed the uh, portraits on all of mine to make them look different. So I don't know. I don't remember at this point which one actually originally came with the figure or even if it matters. I don't know if there was a specific one for this figure at all. Um, I know that when you purchased them at the uh, convention, uh, you got to pick the head sculpts on them. So it's kind of like a build a figure type of thing. But anyway, uh, Good sculpt on the uh, on this particular head. Good sculpt on the body. I love the fact that they picked out the uh, details and the buttons and the buckles. Very nice sculpt. As far as articulation, the head's on a ball joint. So he can do a 360. He can tilt his head like so. And he can slightly look down and up. Like so. His arms swivel at the shoulder. They bend. His elbows swivel but are slightly hindered by his elbow. And they bend thus far. Wrists swivel. And they bend down and up. His waist is a ball joint, which offers a good range of motion there. It's also where you pop the figure in half to get the, get the shoulder on, or the shoulder harness or the belt on. His legs split about that far. He's got double joint, uh, they go straight and back about that far. He's got double jointed knees, which allow him to bend like that his ankles swivel 360 they pivot up about that far and they pivot back about that far very good articulation on these figures excellent sculpts i love the painted detail on all the buttons and the weapons and the accessories are all top notch I love the uh, the use of color. It looks very authentic. And 
I like the details on the weapons. Very good, very good. I like it. My only complaint is that he can't shoulder his rifle and appear to see through the sights, you know. Um, I may be able to fix that by trimming a little bit away from his elbow, but I haven't been brave enough to try that yet. Oh, well, that being said, very good figure. Let's uh, do some size comparisons now. So here he is next to General Patton, either from 21st Century Toys or, or Forces of Valor. I can't remember which line I got him in again. Uh, here he is next to the Indiana Jones German soldier. As you can see, there is a distinct size difference. They're still compatible, but uh, noticeably taller, the Marauders figure. Here he is next to a generic green shirt G.I. Joe. Modern era G.I. Joe. <coughs> Here he is next to the Golden Age. Captain America from the Marvel Universe line. Here he is next to the Matt Smith Doctor Who. Noticeably taller than him as well. And here he is next to a Vitruvian Hacks Knight of Asperity from the Boss Fight Studios company. All right. So in closing, this was the World War II uh, German rifleman from the Marauders Task Force World War II line. Um, this was one of my Kickstarter rewards. He is, he was also available at the New Jersey Collectors Con. Uh, but as to my knowledge, he is not available online yet. Should be very soon. Uh, and when that happens, maybe you'll want to ar army build him. He's a good candidate for army building. All you have to do is pop the head off and just uh, change his loadout a little bit. And you could have a whole squad of different soldiers. Um, anyhow, this has been AV. If you like my video, check out my channel. If you like what you see there, then please subscribe as always. Thanks for watching.